Hey guys, good morning. It's a long video after a few weeks. So we're leaving the X3 behind, convertibles in the garage. And we are taking Karishma's favorite car. She's going to be driving. So I'm going to sit in the passenger seat, which is quite comfortable. This is how you move it back. I guess there's enough space. Yes. So this is our 2022 Mercedes GLC 300 compact SUV. I made some videos about it, but now let's see what Krishma has to say. All right, guys, just uh, left home. Hi, Krishma. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the vlog after a long, long time. Yes. So actually, guys, we are heading to the mall to pick up some swimming costumes for Karishma because she's uh, not bought one for a while and she said okay we'll go I actually had to force her otherwise she wouldn't have bought also huh Karishma you don't like shopping right yeah it's super boring super boring <laughs> super boring for me yeah. I, I love I love shopping for everyone else yeah yeah for me I find she likes uh, she likes when I shop and Darren shops and Ivanka shops but today's video is not about shopping we are going to Florida next monday uh, miami and uh, key west so two locations in uh, a week we're going for a week uh, zoe will be left at a beautiful kennel about 40 minutes away so we're going to do that and that will mean more videos hopefully if i'm energized to do that but uh, today's topic is about this beautiful 2022 glc 300 which has been with us from January. So we've done about uh, eight months with this car, seven, eight months with this car. As you guys know, I change cars very often, but we, you know, uh, love this uh, compact SUV. And, and what I wanted to make the video about is that Karishma loves this car the most for her work travel. Is that right, Karishma? Yeah, absolutely. So I have a fairly crazy commute um, whether I'm driving or take, taking public transport, but when I'm driving, this is uh, definitely the vehicle to, to do, do the commute in. Yeah. So Karishma drives to Brooklyn where her office is and uh, we don't need the subway trains anymore because we have three cars. So she takes the car door to door. How has it been driving Karishma, like uh, traffic wise and all? Yeah, I mean, again, like what I do typically is try and beat the traffic rush so I leave super early in the morning and um, that that makes it like I think I have like one or two bottlenecks which I know I will have and barring that it's it's pretty smooth and now that I've done this for nearly a year now um, I think mentally tuned to the fact that there'll be a couple of jams there'll be a few miles that will be bumper to bumper but yeah. it's your own car uh, you're not really hopping from pillar to post uh, from from one kind of public transit to another so there's kind of pros and cons uh, yeah. to both and how's the gas mileage and all been karishma pretty good right so i mean pretty good actually like if you if you fill the tank um, and um, one round trip to brooklyn and back again like i said like it's not smooth sailing and there is pretty much uh, considerable bumper to bumper traffic as well I think it's, I think we just go down like I want to say like a bar. Yeah, like just a gauge, so I would like, say not even quarter tank no, for, no, no, from no, no, fly to Brooklyn. No, it's no, like no. real good mileage. Like yeah. maybe if she drives five times to work, she may have to fill it up once. I feel or maybe seven times. Yeah, it's just like so, we haven't tried, we haven't gone so. And she drives twenty-two miles each way, so it's forty-four miles per trip. So yeah, two three hundred mile tank, uh, which is awesome. Yeah, at least we feel this, the X three is more. Uh, guzzler uh, but this is awesome and how are you liking the, uh, the the compactness karishma we had a big suv before this i know i know how was this compared to that yeah, the gle because when i used to drive the gle i thought that was peppy and really comfortable but when you compare that with the glc like, there is no comparison yeah. and again i mean gle you have the space and all of that but when there's just one person driving Yes, and that to city driving, it's it's obviously. I mean, this one, yeah, this one yeah, is definitely yeah. more comfortable from a driving. Perspective. How are you liking the navigation and music and everything? No, it's perfect. And like I said, you know, we, we we've driven the GLE for a few years now. Yeah. But the look and feel and uh, everything of of this car is what I love is consistency. Yeah. So once you've driven one, like 
the look and feel, the way the controls, all of that is in the same place, which is great. And uh, again, like you said, the, the music sound quality. Yeah. Because again, it's it very just, compact, it's, it's, so the sound is better. Is, is the company yeah. that you have when you're driving. What I like is these round uh, AC vents, you know, which you don't get in the GLE, which was just plain, you know, square. Yeah, the, this is. This has more know. sporty, and of course, we've got the leather seats and everything. So the only thing is the screen is not as big as GLE. The GLE was a whole. But this has a sporty look there, you know. So it's got its plus and minuses. Sunroof is huge, but uh, we don't uh, open it when the sun is blaring on our head over here. So we are just yeah, passing. Yeah, we're passing a beautiful golf course on the right, but there's so many trees, you can't see much of it. So yeah, we are heading to the mall to get some uh, uh, shopping done for our Florida trip because shopping is fun and we like shopping. And uh, Karishma said, okay, I'll drive and you can do some vlogging. So I said, great, that's awesome. And I thought, okay, we've not made a video about the GLC for a while. So let's uh, do that today. So otherwise, Karishma, you've also driven the convertible, which we have. How would in a couple of points you compare the two? Because convertible two is nice and tiny and peppy. Yeah, and I haven't driven um, that car into the city, yeah. like at least from a work perspective. I think we've taken it to the city, but... Um, again, I, I feel like when you're like an SUV is definitely an all weather vehicle. Yeah. So that's where I think it gets a couple of the points. Snow. Yeah, snow, rain. Like I've had some, I've driven through some really crazy uh, weather days even in the last one year. So, yeah. you know, you always feel more comfortable in an SUV. There's, there's no question about it. Um, and like I said, this, though, though this is an SUV, it's quite um, peppy and easy on the drives. So it's not like you're. It's, it's like a slugging uh, kind of a feel. The convertible is light, um, and, and I feel like for a joyride in anywhere, it's definitely a city car. But for a joyride, one way or the other, I mean, I, I love the I love the small car as well. Yeah. So a little bit on the fence, but definitely from a safety, stability, all all uh, weather vehicle. Yeah, it's definitely the GLC. You know what? My favorite of the GLC. Mm -hmm. This. <laughs> to put your glass yeah because the bmw right with the bmw and i have these thin uh oakley uh, shades which fold and fit well in that uh, that's what the mercedes has i don't think bmw has that maybe the new ones now have it okay. so anyways karishma we'll let you focus on the drive yep. and i'm gonna uh, focus on editing this video and posting it because if i don't edit immediately and post it I'm just going to forget about it and you know how it happens. Life happens, right? So we are not full-time YouTubers to do this on a daily basis. We are busy with other things and make our YouTube videos when we can. So hope you like this, guys. GLC 300 gets a big, big thumbs up. Yes, Krishna, thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up. No, okay. no, no thumbs down. So when she says thumbs up means I'm not allowed to sell the car now. <laughs> so yeah, we are stuck with this car. And uh, I don't mind because we are now in a zone where we think we have the perfect three collection uh, one convertible one small suv midsize and one bigger suv again compact x3 so we'll have to stable now be stable because we pay college fees so many other things where it all adds up you know so we have to now just focus on enjoying these three cars no changes so yeah no more new car videos in the near future uh, but then that being said you never know me right Never say never. No, I'm just kidding, guys. And also, we keep saying that, okay, the next changes are all going to be electric. Because the world is all going electric. So, whether it's Rivian or Tesla, whether it's after three years, four years, whatever. Every change will have to be into electric. So, that much we are very clear. Mercedes electric. Mercedes EQS is there, which we can change uh, from this car. So, yes, you're right, Karishma. See, she gets me thinking. I was thinking Tesla. Now she's saying Mercedes. I didn't say. I mean, electric. I'm just saying that every, every yeah every car brand. brand I like the Mustang and the Hummer. In fact, Stradman just bought the Hummer electric, uh, and that's awesome. But he paid like hundred and thirty thousand, I think, and it's not even available. And it only comes in white color. Hummer electric. I don't know why. Anyways, we are on our way, and we need to log off. Bye, Karishma. Bye everyone. Take Tell care. them to have like and subscribe. Week. Yeah, have a safe weekend and please like and subscribe and follow the channel and uh, we we will speak with you soon. Yeah, just about heading to ten thousand three hundred uh, subscribers. So please, guys, let it grow. Let it grow slowly. But we want genuine followers who really like us for what we are. 
and uh, yeah keep supporting take care bye